Okay, folks, happy uh, Wednesday here. It's the 6th of May. Uh, we have a practice DBQ for today. Okay, so you should have, uh, if it's not right now, uh, you should set aside 45 minutes of your life to do this. So if that's not right now, then you can watch this, but then start it later. Uh, that's fine. But if you want to do it right now, do it right now. That's also fine. Um, I have uh, prepared for you, or at least found for you, a sample DBQ from the College Board. Uh, it deals with period seven. Um, yeah, I think all of period seven. So it's all included in period seven, which we haven't really reviewed yet. So that might be a little tricky, but hopefully, uh, hopefully at least good review otherwise. Uh, so we have uh, the just the whole uh, sample DBQ I'll put on classroom and I'll put it right with this video. So it'll be there uh, in, in uh, on Wednesday morning when you look at this. So uh, what you need to do, uh, set aside 45 minutes. Uh, you can uh, either type this into a Google Doc. You can type this into a Word document. You can handwrite this. Okay, you can do any of those three things. Um, set aside 45 minutes. Start a timer on your computer. Start a timer on your phone. Do whatever. Silence your phone. Don't look at it for the night. Or I mean, look at the timer, but don't be wasting your time. Uh, and pretend like this is a test situation. And that's all you've got to do. Uh, open up the document once you start the timer, open the document, scroll down on the second page, there's a question in bold. Uh, it's kind of hidden in the middle of the, uh, there's some instructions and then there's a document at the bottom, but there's a question in the middle. Okay, and it's, uh, I don't know, you can see it on there when you look at it. And then there's five documents. The, the five documents need to be read during this time as well. Uh, so I would recommend spending five, ten minutes on the documents and then starting to write, okay? Uh, so, so spending the time on the documents, uh, possibly outlining some things, figuring out which documents go with which, uh, figure out some uh, some complex understanding points, the the context. Okay, and then I'm going to write an essay, a full essay, uh, where I'm going to do an introduction, where I've got some probably have some context in there, uh, as well as a thesis, or maybe my context comes in another place. But uh, most people would say it goes in that first paragraph, or it works in that first paragraph easy enough. Um, and then probably multiple body paragraphs, uh, probably uh, probably two body paragraphs, four. And then if I had to guess, if you're doing like, a, on the other hand, a complex understanding or uh, some other part of a complex understanding point, uh, throw that in somewhere else uh, in a, maybe a different body paragraph and then a conclusion. So all that's got to be done in 45 minutes. Okay, stop writing after 45 minutes. If you're done with, if you're not done with your conclusion, just stop. Okay, if you're still in the middle of your body paragraph, just stop. Okay, I'm gonna grade it as is, and I'm gonna look, and I'll be fair. Uh, but this is, don't feel like you've gotta, you've gotta finish this to, to get an excellent grade in the marking period or anything, because I'll be, I'll be forgiving on all this. Uh, but you, I'm just trying to get you guys to get a feel for the pacing on this uh, test next week. So that's all you're doing today. Send it to me when you're done. Uh, you can yeah, send it to me when you're done. Email it or upload it. Do whatever you got to do. Also, check out those emails that I sent you yesterday. Uh, the one email had a demo, a practice demo, where you basically have to go through what the test process is going to like look like on the day of. Uh, so that might be smart to do uh, once or twice before the test. Uh, and then there was also a helpful video that was there uh, that would be also smart to watch. Uh, it answers a lot of questions. It cleared a lot of things up for me as I was uh, watching it. So uh, that's all I've got for you. Uh, that is that is it. Uh, I guess I will talk to you guys again tomorrow. Again, email me if you got any questions. If you can't find that uh, that prompt in the middle there, email me and I'll let you know where it is. Okay, uh, good luck. Take it easy. Uh, do your best and send it to me when you're done. Okay, see you, see you tomorrow.